Hello guys, welcome back to another codingbat.com tutorial. This time we will be doing Array 2, Exercise Post 4. The question says, given a non-empty array of ints, return a new array containing the elements from the original array that come after the last four in the original array. The original array will contain at least one four. Note that it is valid in Java to create an array of length zero. So basically we want to create a new integer array that only consists of the numbers that come after the last four in the original array. So first we want to check where the last four in the integer array is. So if we look at this example here, the first example, we see that the first and last four is located right here. So we want to return an integer array containing all the integers after the four, so one and two. In example two, um, we can see that there is a four here. However, there is also four here, and we want to create an integer array of all the numbers after the last four. So we will create an integer array containing only this last number. Um, for the final example, uh, the last uh, four will be right here. So. Uh, we will create a new integer array containing these integers and return that integer array. So the first thing we do is we want to create an integer called index, which will keep track of where that last four might be. So for now, we'll just set it to zero. And for integer i is equal to zero, i is less than number dot length, i is plus, if the number at i is equal to four, then we want to change the index so that it is equal to that number. So, so that it is equal to the index of that four. So i. However, uh, it is actually i plus one. Because if you think about how an array, uh, if you think about it, um, let's take the first example, for instance. Um, the index will actually be right here. However, uh, we want the array to include the numbers starting from here and onwards. So in the second example, we want to start here onwards rather than from here. So we'll change the index to be i plus 1 so that it is the first number after the last 4. Then we create a new uh, integer array called num or let's let's not confuse ourselves let's call it result and the size will be the original length of the number array minus the index now this is because um let's say in the case of this right here, um, index here will be two. Um, this is because the the actual index of the last four will be one because arrays start with an index of zero. So two here will be zero and four here will be one. So one, however, the integer index will be equal to two because we set it to i plus one here. And the total number length will be equal to 4. So we do 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. Then, we also want to say so we create a new for loop here. that adds these numbers 
at the end and add it onto the resultant integer array. So result at i is equal to the nums at i plus index. Now, uh, if you do this, um, it's actually wrong because you're you're starting from zero, which is not always a guarantee. So by saying plus index, you already start from where um, the first number after the last four is, and then you return the number. Your turn result. You got all correct.